with the release of the new phase boss, which by the way, Ninja Kiwi absolutely nailed it. It is such an amazing boss, but it adds a new mechanic, permanent camo. Not only that, it's camo that can't be detected by villages. It can't be removed by ninja or by cleansing foam. It is a permanent camo. So we were thinking, what would happen if every single balloon and Moab had this property? How far will I be able to get by using only camo detection towers? Let's find out. For this challenge, I'm gonna be banning Paragon Towers and Heroes because inherently they can normally just pop camo balloons anyway, so it kind of takes the fun out of it. All right, so apparently everything just has camo on it, right? So let's see. So if you just put like down a dart monkey, he just can't see it. So he has to have enhanced eyesight in order to see any balloons. What? Let's see, what should be the first space like camo guy? I mean, I guess you like can't go wrong with ninja. It's just gonna make our life so much easier. I feel like this challenge is gonna consist of a lot of ninjas, a lot of military towers. Now the question is, right, who's the strongest towers that we can get? I mean, obviously Super Monkey, right? Like anti-balloon gunner. Ah, we have to get Ultra Vision instead of Plasma, which kind of stinks. I, I still think that's like, a worth oh my gosh we're already like losing uh, i guess i need to go ahead and get secret shuriken and then i can go ahead and just get like ninja discipline so he's gonna just start doing a little bit more for us free dart monkey doesn't even do anything i have to upgrade them like because they can't <laughs> they can't hit any balloons we also have to make sure we can hit moabs ddts everything so whatever we get it has to have camera detection right off the bat Bomb shooters are useless. Like, we can't use bomb shooters. We can't use tack shooters. We can only use Glaive Lord top path. So, Boomerang Monkey is pretty much worthless. Pretty much all primary towers are worthless. Ice Monkey, we can get Cold Snap because that can allow us to hit lead and camo balloons. So, eventually, we're going to want to get an Icicle Impale because I think that's going to be our DDT Destroyer. Darling Gunner is also going to be super hype. Like, getting something for that is going to be really important. I'd love to go ahead and try to get some banana farms. Um, we're going to be okay here. Do I want to get sharp shurikens? That's 300. Yeah, sharp shurikens. Like, that'll... Oh, yeah. Look at sharp shurikens. Look at how many balloons it pops. It just eats them up. I definitely want to think about trying to get a banana farm. <laughs> I'm just like, please, let me get a banana farm. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. I think just not having a village alone just makes me kind of sad, to be honest. Like, you can't even get MIB, so that means we have to make sure we have all potential for popping things. So, like, we have to get the camo cross path for everything. Even Sniper Monkey. Oh, we have to get night vision goggles instead of faster firing. You know how much that hurts my soul? That's so sad. I'm just out here wishing that I could have even faster firing. What is something that's going to be, like, really nice? And, I mean, Mortar Monkey can't do anything, right? Because, well, Mortar Monkey, if we go bottom path, we can do something, right? But you have to get Signal Flare. Yeah, so <laughs> you have to get Signal Flare in order to do that. So that's, like, kind of not worth it, right? Like, that's kind of just not worth it. I am putting down a Banana Farmer. I'm feeling extra lazy today. Oh, look, the, the Banana Farmer has a thing where it shows where he can't see Camo Blues. What even? Why? Oh, okay. We're kind of having some troubles here. I might... All right, I'm going to start putting down Caltrop. All right, we're losing quite a bit of lives here. Okay, whoa. Oh no, camo balloon. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We need to think about what's our next option. I mean, I don't think you can ever go wrong with pirate ship, right? Pirates are so strong. So let's get crow's nest, merchant, grape shot, hot shot. That'll allow us to hit lead balloons because lead balloons are going to start showing up. And then cannon ship. Cannon ship's gonna be very, very nice. What do we wanna do with a Moab? Camo Moab at round 40 does not sound fun. It does not sound fun at all. We can hit legs, right? We're good. Yeah, we're fine. We're cruising. All right, I'm just slightly panicking over here, all right? No big deal or anything, guys. No big deal at all. Okay, this is my last banana farm, then I gotta get another camo detection tower. All right, let's just go ahead and save up and get cannon ship. Because cannon ship is just so strong, especially against, like, everything. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we... We got a couple of rounds here, right? So what is inherently camo detection? Druid is, like, you can't use Druid. Oh, you guys know we got to get Archmage. If we can get Archmage, I think we're, like, we're cooking. We're cooking if we get an Archmage. So that's going to be really nice. Spike Factory is going to be really nice. I think we're going to want to have one of those. Can we take out a Moab right now? We're kind of struggling as is. Maybe not. 
maybe I just go ahead and get a sticky bomb. Do I get sticky bomb or get monkey pirates? Monkey pirates, I think I'm gonna get monkey pirates. Because monkey pirates is stronger and it allows me to have the hook. So I can, I can rope in that Moab so he doesn't stand a chance. Ooga shaka, ooga shaka, ooga shaka. We got our banana farms, we're, ch we're chilling, and we got a Moab about to show up. Ah! All right, I, I do not want to deal with a, a Moab. That's not on my agenda, okay? If I can get all of these to marketplaces, I think we're in business. But I think we also need to start getting ready. All right, I'm going to put down this. This is going to be our ray of doom. There we go. Faster barrel spin, focus firing, laser shock. I think that's just gonna be very... Wait, how is he like missing? All right, there we go. We'll have it like shoot along that path. There we go. Now we're gonna be able to actually deal with most balloons. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another marketplace. We have to deal with a camo Moab, a BAD. It's crazy to think that actually just everything is camo detection now. Yeah, I definitely want this guy to be a flash bomb sticky bomb. We definitely want like Moab demolition. We need something that's gonna like stun and take out Moabs and just be able to just like shred through them, right? Like that's gonna be so nice. Uh-oh, we're kind of struggling. Uh-oh, oopsies, balloon sneaking by. I don't like this. All right, marketplace. All right, we got all our marketplaces. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm just I'm hanging out. So we're going to have a... No oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we okay here? Oh, I don't... They're kind of getting far. All right, I'm upgrading this guy to Sicky Bomb. He's got almost 10,000 pops. Nice. All right, Moab, doesn't matter. We got Sticky Bomb, so that should be fine. Balloons are getting way further than I want them to. And this Sniper Monkey, we can go ahead and just get to be Bouncing Bullet and even faster firing, and then Supply Drop. Because once we get the Supply Drop, it can hit leads. I'm also very glad that it can just naturally hit Camo Balloons, so that is a very nice bonus. Plasma Accelerator might not be too shabby, but I definitely want to get Supply Drop just because we can farm with it. So now we have the that option if we need to, so we can farm... Bouncing bullets are always really nice. Extra income. What do we want to try to save up for is like the big question, right? Like what is our our goal? I mean, we could try to get a true Ventful Sun God Temple, right? Because that could hit camos. Like that is the strongest thing that can hit camos that we could buy. But man, that would be a little bit difficult to try to afford. That's like a million dollars. I mean, it'd be pretty much the same as trying to save up for a Paragon. So we could try to get that and see how far we can get. I feel like that's one of our, our big options there. Oh, but if we do that, we can't have Anti-Balloon Gunner and Legend of the Night. And I kind of want both of those. All right, do I want this to be a Ray of Doom or an MAD? Right, that's the big question for this guy in the back here. I kind of want this guy to be a Ray of Doom. So we'll upgrade this to be that. Can I put that guy in? I can. That's so good. We're going to want Pirate Lord at some point as well. There's so many things that we need. There's so many things that we need. I feel like we're just like barely hanging on here. Oh, I gotta make sure I constantly use that. That's a good, that's a good extra money. I'm gonna get Elite Sniper because it's extra damage and money at the same time. Whoa, look at this. This is a big lag spike. My computer's like dying. Okay, we're gonna, I bet we're gonna have another lag when the, the next like rush comes in. Look at that. That's so weird that it like lags all of it. What is happening right now? Wait, wait are we okay? Whoa, that was, I did not, that was kind of close. That was cutting it a little close. We're already on round 65 and it feels like we have no good towers. I'd love to get Spirit of the Forest, but that feels like such a waste getting like Spirit of the Forest just for the stuff that's on the ground. So I don't know if that's actually worth it or not. I don't think it is. Look at that, he's made $9,600. He also has 53,000 pops. Wait, this guy's actually doing very nice. I kind of want to get another one. I'm so glad Ray of Doom just has, like, natural camo detection. It feels so nice. It really does. Like, it's so good. Also, I love in the new update, if you push this button, it actually calls in all of them for the Elite Sniper. It's so good. It's a very, like, very nice change. Oh, my gosh. It lags so bad when there's, like, a bunch of balloons. Look at that. It's just like... All right, what do we need? We're so close to Monkey Wall Street. Come on. Thank you. All right, we got Monkey Wall Street. We chilling. We are super mega chilling now. Getting like $4,000 at the end of every round. I think I want something for AOE that can easily take out like the large quantities of balloons here. And Ray of Doom can definitely do that. Ray of Doom just like melts. But that's $86,000. Oh, let's get Pirate Lord. And then I can just absorb that. And you get bonus money. I love that Pirate Lord gives you money. I wish Pirate Lord told you how much money it gives you, though. 
Because it, it says, like, oh, you, like, get this much money. All right, let's get Master Bomber. Because we need Master Bomber in order to deal with, like, DDTs, right? I also want Arch Mage, because Arch Mage can hit Camo Blues. And that's very nice. I love the ability to just hit that. Just more camo detection in general, I think, is going to be nice. I think putting this right here and then just getting Spike Mines is actually a super solid way to just get, like, pops. Because it just, like, pops things so fast. And it just, like, it just adds up so quickly when you get pops. Look at that. Boom. Already 6,000 pops. It just does so much damage. And it can hit camos! I like the fact that it can hit camos because every balloon is camo! Ray of Doom. Ray of Doom. Ray of Doom. Please. All right, how much damn money does this give you? It doesn't show because it's on the side of the screen. How am I supposed to see how much money I get? Tragic. Okay, Ray of Doom. All right, we're actually cruising now. There are some amazing towers that just have inherent camo detection, and I like that a lot. I really think I want Wizard. I know I want Wizard. I think I want to put my anti-balloon gunner here. I think I think this is going to be a better option. So anti-balloon gunner is going to be there, and then I think I want my Wizard right here. So I can just go ahead and get Archmage. So now we've got that. And now I can save up and go ahead and get Robo Monkey, Tech Terror, and I have to just get Ultra Vision. Because otherwise it just doesn't do anything, right? So like that has to happen. Tech Terror is actually putting in weight. Wizard Monkey's doing quite a bit of work too. Nice. Round 95. We're good. Honestly, now that I think about it, I feel like round like round 95 is just easier because I've had nothing but all game to prepare for, right? Like, I'm forced to have camo lead popping abilities anyways, right? So I feel like I'm just already naturally set up for it, which is pretty funny. 55, but we can get anti-balloon gunner in a couple of rounds before, before the BAD. I think I'm going to be happy. 97,000? We should be able to have 97,000, right? And we have our Tech Terror ability, so we can just like, boom. All right, Anti-Balloon Gutter, very nice. Kind of upsetting that, oh, you know what I just realized? Now that we get the Anti-Balloon and we have the Ultra Vision, we actually get the knockback effect. That's so cool, look. So we can actually, okay, it doesn't work on BADs, but on, on smaller balloons, it actually works. So there we go, we're able to beat round 100 pretty easily though, like that wasn't too bad. Let's see how far we could actually get here. My, now that's the this is where the real the real challenges start showing up i guess i can put there we go we'll put you here and mad 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 the ultimate the ultimate balloon guy yeah look at that he has so many pops already he's about to pass this guy up look at that he's, he's so good all right this got 1.3 million all right darley gunner is best anti-camo in game like, these guys are doing such good work. The Alchemist should probably go here. Which is so sad, but, like, it's definitely where the Alchemist should be. Alchemist just can't see anybody, but he can put Permabrew on it. And I think that just makes it worthwhile. Is it worth it just for Glaive Lord on the Boomerang Monkey? It's not. It's not. Don't fool yourself, Ryan. Don't fool yourself. It ain't worth it in the slightest. Okay, and I get Icicle Impale. Now, does Icicle Impale reach? No, we're at round 110, and I, feel still, I still feel like we're really cruising here, which is so nice. We have more military towers that we can try to get as well, which would be cool. cool. I mean, really? Oh, we, oh, right. We could still get the Monkey Village. Bigger radius, couple of drums, and we can go ahead and just get primary expertise. And primary expertise can just hit camos. So that is, I mean, we can't use the village for camo detection, but nobody said anything about not using the village for destroying balloons. We're at round 116, and we're doing such a good job still. All right, I think we need to start skipping some rounds. Like, let's just skip 10 rounds. All right, I just skipped a couple of rounds, actually. We can get super mines, because super mines are just super nasty. All right, will we be able to defeat round 140? The Fortified Camo BAD. Ooh. Ooh, I think we can. All right, there we go. We got the, we got beat round 140. So we got to just keep, oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we didn't. Okay, I got a little ahead of myself there. I got a little bit too excited. All right, let me get another sniper monkey. Target strong and give me cripple Moab. It's so sad that I have to get shrapnel shot on my cripple Moab. It hurts my soul, okay? We're doing really well. We're doing very well. I think if I get a Legend of the Night, there's no way I can afford it, though. I can try. Let's see where I can, if I can squeeze him in anyway. Right there. Okay, nice. Knockback. <laughs> Dark Champion. 
Definitely laser blast and plasma blast are the way to go here. I'll just go ahead and get it. Look, he's already at 18,000 pops. Let's go ahead and get that Dark Champion online. We're doing really good still. Come on, Dark Champion. If we can get the Dark Champion up and running, I will be quite happy. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to be in time, though. Oh, man. Round 154. We're getting swarmed. It's getting spooky. But we're, st we're still managing. We're still somehow managing. Dark Shift over here. Keep attacking. No, these BADs have become too strong. They're too strong. No. No. Round 184. We have met our fate. Today I learned I'm very grateful that some balloons are not camo. And in fact, we can have a village. Peace.